Okay, today we're gonna. This is some of the preliminary work that I'm gonna do um, to basically use the HC control uh, board that I've been working on to replace this relay and much of this wiring here uh, in this Razor 1000. Um, I'll kind of give you a shot. It's really cold today. I'm actually I left the uh, the Razor in the toy hauler um, mainly because I have heat. Um, and the shop's kind of too full right now, and it, it, it's a lot more difficult to get everything out um, in bad weather. But basically, um, your diagnostic connector, which I think on the uh, 800, it was actually not up front. It's actually back uh, behind the uh, driver's seat. Um, and these newer uh, razors are actually up here. Um, and the pin out on these are really simple. Um, Just gonna take a look at it here. There's actually an extra wire, and I think one of these extra wires is actually for the electronic power steering. Um, but I'm actually gonna check this with a scope first before I actually connect the uh, logic analyzer to this. Uh, but this connector basically has 12 volt and it has a CAN bus high and low side. Now the HC control that I built, if you remember, it's using RS-485 for its network. Um, but I'm actually going to make a uh, either a small module or a full-on uh, GUI uh, style controller that will actually connect to this CAN bus network and then relay commands to the HC control. Um, so I'll get started here. Okay, more than likely they followed the same, uh, at least the color coding on the high and low. We'll, we'll double check uh, as the 800. I've got the little sheet here that I had for the 800. Uh, and I believe it was a dark green and yellow wire uh, for the high and low. Uh, but we're just going to check that real quick with a scope. Um, I'll need some leads to actually stick down in that connector. Okay, let's go get some can activity going. Okay, and you can see on the scope, um, I've just turned the key on, uh, we've got some activity. Now 
I got that captured. I'm just going to turn this off real quick. And basically what I'm trying to do here is I, I just don't want to damage my logic analyzer. Um, the saline that I'm going to use, it'll actually go up to, I think it's 30 volts uh, it's protected to. Um, but ideally you don't really want to, uh, you know, overextend it. So what we're looking for is the, uh, the low side signaling uh, and then just to check the voltages. Okay, and there's lots and lots of data going back and forth. Now we're actually going to connect the logic analyzer. And I do apologize for the camera footage. Um, I'm just trying to get you the best view that I can. It's a little bit limited space. Okay, it looks like we're still connected. Alright, so we're going to take some samples. Uh, mainly, the big things I'm looking at are the speedometer and the uh, reverse and uh, drive indicator on the CAN bus. And basically, all this data is actually. Um, you know the razors already come with a CAN bus system so basically anything that's happening that's going from the ECM it's coming up to the uh, uh, the speedo uh, which is all CAN bus so anything that's on that speedo we can extract out um, and use and like I said before the big thing I'm planning on using is the uh, uh, the gear selection and the uh, speed so we can turn the rock lights on uh, when we're going slow and so we can turn on our reverse lights when we put it in reverse without having to do you know micro switch or anything like that the really cool thing is this should be really easy to install because everything's right here in one place um, so basically you can put an HC control we could put the other uh, CAN bus module that actually uh, pulls what's going on in the razor that's controlling the HC controls or multiple HC control uh, devices uh, and we should be able to do a lot with this And there we go. We got tons of data. Uh, I'm using a Sale uh, CAN bus. Uh, I had to do a little bit of circuitry here to actually get this uh, in a format that the Sale could read, um, but no issues. Um, I'm basically going to do a bunch of capture data and take this back and start writing code uh, for the controller. For the controller, initially, I'm probably still going to use uh, the STM8 series, but I'll actually use the automotive. Uh, just as a test bed, I'll probably end up doing a STM32 based actual uh, finished product. Um, but initially, I've got a little STM8 automotive board um, that I have a CAN bus transceiver for, uh, and that'll get what that'll get me what I need. Um, and I'll probably just do simple outputs on that uh, and feed that into the HC uh, control two prior to doing the 485 implementation. Okay, so this far we've got uh, we've got all of our CAN information. Um, it pretty much looks identical to the uh, uh, the 800 version I did, so I'm not gonna have any trouble um, porting that over. Uh, and basically, all we needed to do to do that is I used an oscilloscope to basically check everything. Uh, the CAN bus on the razor is 12 volt, and uh, I used a logic analyzer to do the debugging. The only real glitch to to doing this is once you once you verify that it is actually 12 volt, uh, you need to get that level converted down to use a logic analyzer. Um, I got several captures and tried to capture as much data as I could. Uh, I know that I can uh, extrapolate the speed and the uh, gear selection. 
out of the data without any issue. Um, one of the neat things, you know, uh, I did all this in the back of the toy hauler, so um, just to stay warm. So it's a little bit space constrained, but uh, it worked really good, and uh, I was warm, which is the most important thing. Uh, this type of stuff is really hard to work on, uh, you know, with cold hands, and uh, even though this is a my inexpensive rod goal, uh 1052e uh, I still wouldn't want to get it you know out in out in water wetness or cold anyway I hope you enjoy the video um, like I said I have boards coming in uh, within the next few days for the HCC control um, and I'm going to go ahead and start prototyping up uh, the other side of that which is the uh, CAN bus uh, I'm going to call it the CAN bus dongle for now um, to get the uh, reverse and speed among, uh, the reverse and the speed uh, so that I can use that to actually control outputs. Um, I'm still going to have to go through on my razor. Um, I actually don't have the reverse mount slotted yet or mounted yet. Uh, uh, the light bar is is ready and if you want to see how I mounted my light bar uh, I've got that in another video. Um, but it's pretty much ready to go and I've got basically power poles that actually um, connect it on and I'll be going to the power pole system up underneath the hood to make stuff easier to disconnect and reconnect. Thanks for watching the videos.